Hi there. Um, so this is a video that I'm going to make regarding a, a memory leak that is in uh, Windows 8, 8.1 and also Windows 10. Now this is the first video I've made in quite some time. My channel kind of got abandoned and put aside. You know, life things happen, you know. So this is the first video back. I thought I'd start with something simple, uh, something I learned recently. Um, now this is probably best done if you have experience with the uh, registry. Although it is quite simple, it's still best if you uh, know what you're doing. But if you choose to uh, give this a go in the hopes that it might uh, improve your memory, this is in no way a guarantee that it will. But this is what several people have been saying. It certainly helps with uh, leaking memory from Windows 8, 8.1. And, and Windows 10. So it's very simple. Um, what we'll do first is we will, uh, I'll just explain to you, this is a stock installation of Windows 8.1 Pro. Uh, it's not even registered. I've just installed it into a virtual machine uh, just so I can demonstrate how this works. So uh, it's completely stock and nothing's been added and we're just going to go straight from uh, straight from scratch. So what we'll do is we will come down to the start menu here and we'll go up and we'll go to run. When we open run we want to type in reg R E G edit E D I T. So it's R E G E D I T. Then we click OK. Okay now this is the uh, registry. I'll make this full screen. So what we need to do is we need to navigate to a specific folder. So that folder will be H key local machine. Then you go down to system. Then you go to current control set 001. Then you go down to services. It will open up this. It will provide you with a, a huge amount of files, but there's only one we need to look at. So we need to scroll down here and we need to find one that's called N D U. I think that's correct. Uh, where is it? There we go. N D U. So I'll see if I can. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can bring this over here a little bit. N D U, right there. Okay. Now, once we've clicked on that, we only click on it once. You'll see over the start here, uh, over here, it'll say start. So I'll bring this over here. Um, if you guys know of a, uh, a magnifying tool that I can help focus in on things on the screen for you guys, let me know because I'm still trying to work one out. I have been Googling, but I haven't been able to find one. Um, so I'm just using whatever's built into Windows at this point, which isn't exactly the best. So we need to go to start. And we're going to go and right click and we're going to go to modify. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to change this from 2, sorry, 2 to 4. And then click OK. OK, I'll zoom back out again and close that as you'll see uh, now. You'll see now it says 4 there on the end. Okay. Now we simply close the registry editor, then we go and we reboot the system. Oh, what I should show you first, of course, I should show you, um, this is a virtual machine so it only has a one gig assigned to it, um, so I don't know if it'll help much in this um, on a bare metal machine or on a local install. Or on a you know on a standard computer without a virtual machine, um, this may um, obviously display different and should work a lot better. This is just me showing you the steps on how to do this on your machine. So as you can see there, it's currently on around we'll say 49, 50 percent of the one gig uh, assigned to this virtual machine. So now we'll go here, we'll restart, and we'll see what happens. Now, like I said, this is a virtual machine, so I can't um, I can't say for sure this is how it's going to look on your machine because more than more than likely you're going to be running it 
not in a virtual machine. Um, but yeah, so, and I, like I said, there is no guarantees that this will work. This is just what a, a tip, what several people have been saying helped them. So hopefully it'll work. Um, well, I guess we'll, we'll see. Um, let me, if you, if it does work for you, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll actually write these steps out for you in the description if you like. Um, but hopefully I've explained it fairly simple. It's just a few little clicks here and there and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll have a look. Uh, let's see. Okay. Now obviously this is going to be a little bit higher at the beginning because it's starting all of the services and uh, processes for a, a Windows boot up. So we shall see what it looks like. Uh, just wait for it to start. As I said, it's running uh, inside a virtual machine, but the, the, the host computer, the computer that's running the virtual machine isn't the fastest anyway. This is just a spare computer I had. I thought I could use it to make some videos for you guys. So currently it's sitting at more than what it was. Um, but I think that's initially just because of the, all the, the processes are beginning. Um, if you do, if you do see down here though, it says 760, it will say, but as you can see, it's currently dropping, but it also says down here in, uh, the in use, um, section. Um, there you go. See, it says there, it's already dropping, but as you can see, it's already dropping already. It will take a little bit, a couple of minutes to, um, finish loading everything and then it should drop down um, but I mean already I mean it hasn't hasn't made it any worse really so uh, yeah hopefully this works for you guys um, yeah if it does let me know because I'm curious um, I actually haven't got this on my machine at the moment because I'm running Windows 7 on my main machine and it's been running fine so I don't really want to mess with it um, it is also a, a much more powerful machine. That's my main rig. It's a gaming machine. It's a video editing machine, all that sort of stuff. So this is just one to make videos with. But um, yeah, as you can see, it's already dropped down to the 49% um, where it was before we started. So it hasn't made it worse, um, but that's assuming that this virtual machine itself would have a memory leak to begin with. So uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully this helps out for you guys. Um, I'm going to start making more videos, just little tips and tricks that I learned along the way. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully this uh, works out. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, like and subscribe the video if you do. And uh, yeah, have a good day guys.